everyone, it's Mari here for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be creating an A2 size card today for Father's Day. I'm going to start off with the A2 double stitched frame die set and I'm using the largest die to cut out a panel of paper from the Funfetti birthday paper pad. This is a wonderful paper pad with lots of different patterns. There is a birthday theme running through, but there's also some papers that could be used for many occasions, like these two papers I'm going to be using. Now I'm also going to be using the apron A2 card die set. I'm going to use the one die there that I'm going to actually create a little pouch for that I want to kind of look like a little toolbox. I'm going to cut this piece from this really beautiful coral striped six by six paper from the Funfetti paper pad. I've die cut that out now and I'm going to put some really uh, narrow, this is an eighth of an inch double sided tape onto the flaps that are scored when you cut that piece out using that die. So I've just folded those flaps now and I'm adhering the tape onto the back side of the flaps. I'll take that release paper off the back of those that area and then I will adhere this down to this white and black dot paper that I'm going to use for my card front that I have cut out already using my A2 card dies. So here you can just see I'm going to adhere this piece onto my card front. I think I probably could have gotten that a little bit straighter but anyways I'm sure that when my husband gets this card he is not going to analyze that. Now this piece here is also from the apron A2 card die set and it would normally be used on the apron as a little neck piece to hold the apron around your neck but I'm actually going to use this piece as a little handle on my little toolbox here. So I've cut that from some black cardstock and I'm just going to glue that onto the top of my little toolbox in air quotes and this is going to set up the little pouch that I'm going to use here in my for my toolbox to put all of my little die cut tools. Now I've die cut all of my tools from the apron barbecue add-on die. I love this die set it's so cute. I've cut those from some silver metallic cardstock and I'm also going to I've cut from the apron garden add-on as well. These are dies that create a little garden apron with that apron A2 card die as well. I've cut out some of those little tools from that add-on set to create as well all of these little tools that are going to go into my little toolbox. So um, my husband loves to barbecue but he is also a really great Mr. Fix-It in our family. He is always fixing or working on something to keep our household functioning which is much appreciated. So that's what I was kind of going for here with this little toolbox but you can see how I've got all of these cut out. I'm just showing you the basic placement that I wanted for my tools and what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue some of these down flat with my honeybee liquid glue tube and some of them I'm going to to pop up on foam to make them a little bit dimensional so that you can see that the tools are kind of layered in the toolbox. I also adhered my sentiment down. The sentiment is from the Kiss the Cook stamp and die set and I've adhered that with some foam adhesive to the front of the little toolbox. The great thing about the Kiss the Cook set is it is there is a coordinating die set that cuts out all of the sentiments. Now I'm going to adhere my card front to a black a uh, little frame that's just going to give a nice little black margin around my white cardstock and then I'm going to adhere this to an A2 size card base. To adhere that onto my card base with a little bit of foam adhesive to give it a little bit of dimension and my card base is a a piece of coral reef cardstock from Gina K, which coordinates really nicely with that pattern paper from the Funfetti paper pad. My card is all finished. I have linked up in the description box below to all of the products I used today. Love how this turned out. Have an amazing day, friends. Hope to see you next Friday and take care. Bye-bye.